Now in beauty, Trudy's here with the latest hair trends for summer and how to tackle the heat. Good morning, Good Trudy. Morning. Uh, summer hair. So how do we summer proof our hair first up? Look, first up, boost the moisture in your hair. You know, unhappy hair is usually dry hair and that's why it frizzes and the cuticle lifts up. Cut back on the heat styling, I think, in summer and I've got some tips on that. And I also think use a spray and um, leave-in conditioner because I think we forget to do that. You know, I think we forget to moisturise our hair. And the longer your hair is, the older it is. So, yeah. you know, sometimes you can be walking around with hair that's quite long that could be two or three years old that you haven't trimmed okay so those are some places to start okay they sound like some good places to start mm. too now you said to cut back on the heat styling so what's the alternative then I think we overwash our hair, and hair, our hair companies will probably kill me for saying this, but I think we do. We overwash our hair the minute we think it's oily or product in mm. it. Don't wash your hair every day. Allow some of the natural oil to come into your hair, and you'll notice that your style actually looks quite good. Yeah. You can dampen your hair and restyle it. Um, use a leave-in conditioner, like I suggested. Um, and, you know, I think we just over-process our hair too much. How, like, just how, let, so how long do you reckon you should wash your hair? How well, many times I wash a week? my hair once a week, which is probably quite horrifying for a lot of people. Actually, I do, but, the same. I do the same. But what I do is I refresh it. Like I might wet my fringe and restyle my fringe or I wear it up another day or I spray in some leave-in conditioner, but it's better for my hair. And my hair's frizzy and curly. So if I wash it every day, it's just a fluff ball. Okay, so talking of that, what should we do to fight the frizz? I think the first thing you need to do is buy a silk pillow. I thought it was an absolute load of rubbish. Very expensive. They are expensive. You can make one. You don't need to actually go out and buy a mulberry silk pillow. You can actually make one out of some silk. What it does is it stops the friction because everybody tosses and turns at night and if you've got curly hair, you need to look after it. So I love my silk pillow. I've only been using it for six months and I'm hooked. What about satin? Will that work as well? Yes, yeah, satin. Any fabric that's smooth that your hair glides over. Mm. Um, it's good for perfect. face wrinkles too, apparently. And really good for face wrinkles too, I've got to say. It mush up when you're sleeping. But it does. It stops the friction. You know, the tossing and turning. You wake up in the morning and your hair's frizzy. If you're sleeping on a satin or silk pillow, your hair just glides over it. Okay, I've got to get one of those. Princess right. moment. Right. <laughs> I will get one of those. What about if you want to encourage that curl that you've got, your natural curl as opposed to frizz? Well, my best tip is to go to here with bed with damp hair because that really does do it for you. If you put a little bit of spray and conditioner or um, a hydrating spray or a moisturising cream, serum and then go to bed with your hair wet you can wrap it in an aqueous towel and the moisture actually it, it just evaporates slowly and your hair forms a really nice curl um, and that is the best way really to, to encourage curl and not get that friction and frizz from heat styling and that's something that you can actually do in summer obviously you can't do that in winter because you're freeze well cold. I still do. do you? I just wrap my hair in a towel and go to bed in a little towel turban how does it stay still like oh, I toss and turn all night I, look Mel I just sleep like you know a princess, like a princess. <laughs> no. I wake up in the morning and it's not on, I can tell you that. But still, you know, it is a great way to do, to encourage that natural movement without having to style it. And I'm lazy. I don't know about you, but I'm really lazy yeah. with my hair. I want solutions fast. I'm very lazy. So what's a great on-trend summer style Look, for us? Look, I'm loving these scarves and I've, I've been scanning Instagram to get some images for you. You know, they're really good at hiding dirty hair, hiding frizzy hair, adding just an, an, an element to your hair that's really glamorous and gorgeous. You can tie it any way. It suits any age group. Be fabulous for you on the boat. Oh, you know, yeah, I like with that, that sea salty look, just tie up your hair in a scarf. Really flattering, really on trend, and it just hides a multitude of sins as well. I really like that look. Knot. Yeah, I think it's really nice. Actually, um, Dry and Tea in Auckland are doing a cute little promotion at the moment called Timey Pretty, and you get your hair styled and you get a free, choose a free scarf. So, I mean, there's lots of scarves around, and most people have a drawer full of them and never use them. Now's the time to pull them out. Yeah, good idea. So, what's your best summer hair tip then? Um, look, I reckon the silk pillow is a good one. The other one is a lot of people um, complain with blonde hair about the chlorine. Um, if you wet your hair first before swimming in a pool, your hair can only absorb so much water. Mm -hmm. So if your hair's wet before you go swimming, it won't absorb those chemicals. And I do that because, you know, we've got, even though we've got a salt pool, I find that that really does dry out my hair. Okay, let's talk products that you bought in. Okay, well, let's this. start with Provoke Touch of Silver. Amazing if you're a blonde. Not only is it conditioning with um, vitamin B5, it's got a silver um, conditioning toner in it. So you spritz it in your hair, 
and go. Oh, it's that's, fabulous. That's and it's, awesome. you know, blonde hair is expensive, so look after it with some. Yes, use. I know. Yeah. Don't ever tell my so husband this, what I spend on it. <laughs> no, that's what everyone's on says. my natural blonde. Yeah. Um, this is a new range um, available at Mecca. It's called Aquas, and they have a towel as well, which is really great, like a little turban oh, for your nice. hair. Lovely oh, like leave-in conditioner. It's really nourishing, full of um, goodies, vitamins, um, and a nice big bottle too. So just spritz it in through the ends. I love this brand, um, Hask. The Hawaiian sea salt brand is beautiful. It's got pearl extract in it. And the sea salt. So if you've got fine hair and you want a bit of movement okay, for your scarf, mm -hmm. yeah, it's divine. That's got the sea salt in it, so it gives you some texture and actually m m roughs your hair up a little bit mm, without yep. it feeling like it does when it's or been crispy. in salty water. No, one wants to no be crispy. crunchy. It's soft and smooth. Okay. And, and this finally, one. Moroccan Wheel have done some amazing things this summer. This is a curl refresher. So think about this like you would, um, you know, refreshing your clothes with a or refreshing like a dry shampoo. This actually puts curl in your hair so when your curl gets a bit dry and fluffy you just pump that through your hair and it looks really bouncy and soft and shiny because it's full of argan oil which is really good for your hair Excellent. great one to wear to have in the summer um stunning product i love it great and products. they're all spray so they're all convenient for summer just spritz it in your hair and go stick it in the bag and off you go yeah. hey trudy thank you so much pleasure always a pleasure now for more beauty know-how go to trudy's website beautyeq.co.nz